Swimming Australia will investigate claims of the possible misuse of prescription drugs by members of the Olympic swim team. The allegations form part of two reviews into the sport released today that paint a damning picture of team management and expose why results didn't live up to expectations at London 2012. A report into the culture of the Australian swim team in London doesn't make for pretty reading. Incidents of deceit, bullying, breaching curfews, getting drunk and the misuse of prescription drugs were reported, exposing a vast leadership void. I, I definitely did see a couple of things and a few of the things, uh, you know, such as bullying and, and use of prescription uh, medications and things like that, I didn't see but heard rumours about. The Australian Olympic Committee banned the use of the powerful sleeping tablet Stillnox just before the Games. Swimming Australia and the AOC will consider punishing athletes if they find out it was still used. One of the possible sanctions um, is a, a funding source. The culture within the team has been described as toxic. It's a pretty emotive word, toxic. Behavioural issues weren't overtly obvious. We're working on the culture. We recognise, the Board of Swimming Australia recognise there's an issue with culture. Libby Trickett competed in Athens and Beijing and says there was a stark difference in 2012. It didn't feel like there was anyone to take charge. The swimmers didn't arrive in the UK as a unit. Staggered arrivals made it tough to bond. There were some challenges on their leadership uh, and, and the way they've implemented their style of managing their athletes individually and as a group. And I think they'll look at that now and say, well, there's elements of that that didn't work. The Olympic Village was described by swimmers as mayhem and a candy shop of distraction. Something as simple as internet in their room instead of a cyber hub in the village unsettled some. So people didn't have to disconnect from the distraction that is the internet, that is social media. And I think that was um, particularly one of the issues that we saw last year. Head coach Lee Nugent will be sent on an intensive leadership course. He's not worried about his job though. It's been echoed that there's support for my job, but you know, any high performance job is one of those uh, tenuous positions I think anyway. We've already seen uh, 